Welcome to Step by Step by Miriam. In this short video, we will see how to enter data within the Excel 2007 spreadsheet window. We will also use the basic AutoSum formula and how to save a file. Let's start with cell A1. Type the word products. Press the Enter key to move to the cell directly below. Enter. 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 Next, select cell B1 and enter the word Monday. Excel has built-in custom lists and there is a very fast way of having Excel enter the remaining days of the week. Place your mouse pointer at the bottom right hand corner of cell B1 to the bottom right hand corner of Monday. Hold down the mouse button and drag to cell F1. As you can see, Excel now fills in the remaining days of the week. Let's enter some figures. On Tuesday. And Wednesday. And Thursday. And Friday. As you can see, Excel will enter any text to the left hand side of the cell and any figure to the right hand side of the cell. This is important and it should be your first check when entering figures because Excel will only calculate figures within a formula. For example, if I had it entered for 0, 9. Using the letter O rather than 0, as you can see, Excel now treats this as text, places it on the left hand side of the cell, and this figure would not be calculated in the cell range from C2 right down to C5 if I was using a formula. Therefore, it is very important to correct any figures and make sure that all your figures are aligned to the right after being entered into the Excel spreadsheet. Select cell A6 and we'll type the word total. Now we wish to achieve a total for the cell range from B2 right down to B5. The basic total formula is called the AutoSum formula. All formulas within Excel begin with an equal sign, so the first step is to type the equal sign. The sum formula is then followed by the word sum and then the parentheses are opened. We then start with the first cell in the cell range that we wish to calculate, which is B2. Then you must type the full colon using the shift key and the colon key on your keyboard. This specifies include the cell range right down to and then you enter the last cell address, which is B5. Because we open a bracket, we must close it. Brackets come in pairs. If you open one, you must close it. Enter. As you can see, the formula is entered and it produces the result. Again, we will try it for cell C6. Equals sum open brackets and again, it will be C2 full colon to C5. Close the brackets because you opened them. Enter. And again, equals sum open brackets and again, this time it's D2, full colon, to D5. Close brackets and enter the formula. As you can appreciate, this is one of the most basic functions that most users will use in a spreadsheet. And Excel has basically given a little quick function for you to be able to do this. And it's called the AutoSum function. Let's have a look at the AutoSum function. The AutoSum function is on the editing group in the Home tab. So select Auto Sum. As you can see, Excel now presents the formula in the cell and also on the formula bar. It also proposes the cell range. Press Enter to accept. Let's try again. Click into cell F6. Click on the Auto Sum function on the editing group. Press Enter to accept. Let's save the file. Click on the Save command on the Quick Access toolbar. We will call the file product. Products. 
and then save. The title bar now displays the title of the current file that you're working on. It also adds on an Excel SX extension to identify that this file belongs to the Microsoft Excel 2007 version. Let me show you a quick way of achieving totals. I'm going to select the cell range, this time using my white cross, which is the selector. Click into cell B6, drag select, which means you hold down your mouse button as you move along to cell F6. Press the delete key on your keyboard. Click back into cell B6. Click on the auto sum function and press enter. Remember our fill handle for the days on the week? We can also use the fill handle to fill in the remaining month, to fill in the remaining sales totals. Place your mouse pointer at the bottom right hand corner of the formula cell. Drag right across and release. And as you can see, Excel places in the correct values. If we check any of these formula cells and look at our formula bar, we will see that the correct formula has readjusted. This is called a relative formula. It is relative to the given position on your workbook. If we compare it to the cell above in cell B5, our formula bar tells us that this is purely a value. It is not a formula. Yet if we come down to the cell for the Monday total sales, we will see it by the formula bar that this is the result of the formula. Let's close the spreadsheet. Select File, which is the Office button. Select the Close command. Would you like to save the changes? Yes, I would like to update my file. Click on Yes. Thank you for watching the short video of how to enter data and use the SUM function in Microsoft Excel. Watch out for my further videos on how to input average, maximum and minimum formulas.